I want to extend our pipe example from before, and I want to be able to toggle between the full list of movies or the movies that are only fresh dynamically. And I want to be able to do that specifically by passing a value into our app list component and having it pass that to our actual pipe. So first we have to start the component and with the input or import this input decorator that we get from the core bundle of Angular. This is going to be a decorator that just signifies a property that is getting created from the actual component or the parameter that's being passed into the component. So we'll say at input parentheses, we'll define a new variable, we'll call it show rotten, and we'll declare a type of Boolean because it's just going to be a true or false flag. And before we go any further, let's just make sure we're actually getting that value of show rotten. So on the init of the component, we can just log out this dot show rotten because now show rotten is a property on our component. And you'll notice we're getting undefined over here because we're not yet passing anything in. So if we go to the app component, which is containing the app, the movie list component, here's our movie list. We can actually now pass in a value. So we'll say bracket show rotten. So we're using a bracket here to set the value and we'll say true. And then when we refresh here, we'll see true is logging out in the console. So our app list component is actually getting this show rotten value being passed in by the app component itself. And now that I have this value of show rotten being passed into the movie list, I can then hand it off to the pipe that we created before of fresh. So to pass a parameter into a pipe, you can just say colon and then that value of show rotten. But right now we're not doing anything with that. So let's do that right now. And so we're going to get this argument of args through the transform function here. And this is the colon value that we're passing into our actual pipe. And so if it's true, we'll return the values. And if it's not true, we'll return that filtered list of it. And so now when I go at, back to my app component, show rotten, I can change it here of true. Show me the whole list. So we see Justice League now. Or I can change it to false and we can remove that. So now we have this dynamic element to our movie list um, component itself. And that's actually being passed down to the pipe, which actually has an input on it as well. So to review, we imported the input decorator from the core library. We use it to declare a new property of show rotten, which will be passed in by the actual app component or the parent component of movie list. And then we use this property to pass that into our pipe over a fresh. And then down into the pipe, we actually accounted for this argument itself, passing in the full value of the list or a filtered version of that list.